our seeds in three different countries. We operate with our partners in Laos, Belize, and at Cape Town um, in South Africa. So first of all, in Laos, we're working with a person called Chan Suk. She lives in the south of Laos and she wants to set up her own propagation lab like we have here at Rubinson School. She will then breed her own Laos species of orchids, give them back to farmers who will then sell them to Thai tourists. In Belize, we're working with two partners who want us to help um, with bring back up to standard uh, botanical gardens that was destroyed back in 1931 by a hurricane. And in Cape Town, we're working with a small school that has an orchid project very much like ours, but about 19 years ago when it was smaller. Um, and we've donated them an airflow cabinet that we used at the Cape Town Flower Show last year. And they will be sowing seed very much like we do at the moment. So, from Riverlington School, which is in the UK, we have projects running in Belize, which is around here. We also have projects running in Laos, which is about here. And our latest project, which is working with Erica Primary School in South Africa, Cape Town, which is just here. So you can see that our projects stretch almost completely around the world from our humble beginnings at Rivlington School in the UK. In this short film, you will learn about and see the Prosecchia coculata, also known as the cockle shell orchid, black orchid, octopus orchid, and how to sow sinky seeds. This is Prosecchia coculata. It's from Belize in Central America. It's commonly known as the dancing lady orchid, as you can see by the close-up of one of its flowers. Um, if you also look at it, it's very big. And we'll be using this later on today in one of our um, seed sowing sessions, which we'll see later on. And now how to sow sinky seeds. I'm just getting out some uh, Prostechia cochleata seeds and we're going to sow those in just a few minutes. You can see that they're still pretty much intact and look, the seed pods are quite small. So I'm just going to open these up and you'll see that as I open them up, the white fluff inside is the seeds. First of all, when you're going to sow seeds, the most important thing is to be sterile. So, I'll just rinse off my hands. Notice they're in latex gloves to stop any bacteria from infecting and multiplying in the nutrient-rich agar. And then I just squeeze out the cloth. Do a rinse down of my surfaces I'll be working on. And a rinse over of all the objects I'll be using, so they're all sterile. I take my syringe out, so I just take my bleach. This just kills off any bacteria that's just caught from my hands, if I haven't cleaned them properly. Leave them to soak, just for a few seconds. Right, I'm now just going to tip it is. Take out the stabber, as I call it, or the plunger, and gradually, slowly, just push it in, taking all the seed from the edges of the syringe up to the very front. Then I will rinse wash the seed in bleach, so bringing the plunger back up to 20 mils. You can see the seed that is all in one go. All over the caps, down in there, anywhere a little bacteria could be hiding, over itself, and then back up, back in. I just very slowly take this off. And then the difficult part is attaching the plunge filter up just like that. Like that against the side of my other hand. This distributes the seed evenly and it breaks up any clumps of seed, allowing the bleach to get in between all the little seed particles and making sure every area of the seed is covered in bleach, killing off any possible bacteria. 
minutes you can see let's see the world disperse hopefully okay. so as you know it's the filters on because it's sync you see so if i were to do that and shoot it out all the would sync to the front so i'm just going to angle it and very very slowly squirt the water out a few drops at a time you can see that the seed is now sinking and hopefully in a minute you'll be able to remove the filter and squirt out the rest of the water with better ease you can now see that I'm taking the filter off because the seed is now sunk this will allow me to get rid of the water faster I'm now going to rinse off the seed, so allowing up 20 milliliters of sterile water. So you can see that the seed is settled. I will now put this into another jar very slowly. I'll pull up again to about 15 maybe this time because you don't need as much water. Oh, Again, for the third time, I'm just going to squirt some water in. What I'll do this time though, is I'm going to leave some water. This will allow me to squirt the seed into the jars of agar. So, I think I've got And, again. And that's how you sow sinker seed.